Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Let's talk about stress today, shall we? We barely watch broadcast television anymore. If we do, typically it's because of sports, games, or whatnot. But here lately, we've been watching a little bit more due to the Olympics. But when you watch the Olympics, you get the commercials, and right after the Olympics are over, you'll get the 11 o'clock live newscasts, right? And lately, I've been reminded of one of the vices I gave up years ago, the news. Even the commercials are ridiculous now, especially since we're in an election cycle here in the U.S. It is, it's ridiculous, and I want to tell you a little story. So the fall of 2020 was a huge moment in my life. In the midst of COVID, I was out of shape. I was a mess mentally. A lot was going on at the time. My wife and I are business owners, so there was a lot of stress at the time. And just like everyone else, you spent a lot of time inside, got out of shape. And in September of 2020, I had what I call my awakening. I was standing in front of the mirror after a shower, and I looked in the mirror, and I was just, I was, I was slightly depressed out of shape and I looked at myself and I wondered where did that guy go that used to be fun to be around used to light up a room and used to entertain everyone and I wasn't looking at that guy at that moment and I was struck by lightning at that moment I wanted to eliminate all of the vices in my life everything that was holding me back any negativity and one of those things was the news so my news junkie era happened before that. For years, I would say by the by the time I was 30 years old, I was a father. I started getting to the point where I started to become addicted to the news. It developed into a passion and it developed into an addiction. And I knew I had an issue with it. My wife couldn't stand it. She doesn't like that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of ladies don't. Uh, but this is a trap that a lot of guys fall into, and that's why I wanted to talk about it. For years, I tried to find unbiased news, some sort of source that I could get good information, where I could stay informed and stay away from the, the partisan garbage. And it was a struggle, as you, many know. So I turned off the mainstream media, and I turned to YouTube, where political commentators are everywhere, like Tim Pool, etc. These people, they talk about the daily news. And I got into that. And I quickly realized that even that news is biased. It's cherry picked and full of opinion. After my awakening, I stepped away from all of it. I replaced that information with self help material, podcasts, even fail videos, something that was going to make me laugh and make me feel inspired and motivated. It worked. It was beautiful. After about a week of eliminating the garbage and the noise and all of that negativity, I felt amazing. I felt re-energized and I felt like myself again. All it took was a week. Just turn it off. If you have a problem with the news, you feel like you're stressed out, turn it off, turn off the news. And folks, I know what you're thinking. You need to stay informed. You need to stay on top of things because you feel like it's necessary. And especially you guys, because you feel like you have to make quality decisions quickly and something that's going to uh, adjust your future. That's the way I was. You're wrong because you will hear about big things that will impact your life regardless. It's completely unavoidable nowadays. If you go out seeking the information, it's going to stress you out. Usually the information that's actually going to impact you will find you. Nowadays, especially. Media is everywhere, whether it be independent media, mainstream media, everything. It's all out there. And anything that's actually going to impact your life personally, I guarantee you, you're going to hear about it. So just don't seek it out. I mean, when I'm at the gym, you're going to see the TVs up there, you know, four or five TV screens going on at a time. Some of them are going to have sports. A lot of them are going to have tickers. They're going to have newscasts. If anything big is going to happen that's going to actually affect you, most likely you're going to see it. You know, like 
flash flood reports, thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings, these kind of things, you are going to see that because you've got a pocket computer most likely on you at all times. Listen to me. The little stuff is completely inconsequential to your life. If you are a news junkie like I was, ask yourself this question. What has any of the news stories done to improve your life? What good does it do to stress about things completely irrelevant to your actual life? Here's an example of what I saw one time uh, after I stopped watching the news and just saw how ridiculous the news is. I live in a coastal area in the United States, and we had a Category 1 hurricane that made landfall after a week-long lead-up from the news. A live weather update came up while we were watching a football broadcast. <laughs> there was a live news reporter standing in a puddle in full rain gear, galoshes, everything, umbrella, everything. It was barely raining, and it was a little bit breezy. In the background, there was a jogger that ran by her in tennis shoes, shorty shorts, no problem. I laughed my ass off and turned the TV off and realized what I had done to myself for years. It's ridiculous. Turn it off. If you want less stress in your life, turn off the news. Try to avoid it if you can. The consequential stuff that is going to impact your life, you it is unavoidable. You're going, you're going to see it. The news is all negative. It's cherry picked. It's designed that way to keep your glue to your TV so they can sell advertising. Period. It's the same thing with social media. Your feed feeds you all this kind of stuff so they can feed you stuff to buy. I'm not a tinfoil hat dude. I realized that's exactly what this is. I had a patient one time in the exam room when we were just talking and this particular patient was an executive of a local news station. And they told me that that's exactly what they said. They specifically said the age group that they're looking for when it comes to uh, media and, and big TV uh, is the 35 to 50 age group female. That's the demographic that they're looking for. And if you can make somebody believe that something really bad's going to happen and you keep them glued to the TV, you can sell more stuff. It really is that simple. So I wanted to get this out there just as a public service announcement, something that I, I realized that I had an issue with. And I guarantee you there's a lot of people out there with the same problem. If you're stressed. If you feel like you're wasting all of your time watching the news, thinking that there's going to be a news story that's really going to impact you, turn it off. Just turn it off. You'll thank me for it. Give it a week. You're going to, you will feel better. So there you have it. Less news equals less stress. So until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.